welcome to the class today's topic is on theoretical distribution in that we are discussing about one more continuous probability distribution that is chi square distribution chi square distribution chi square distribution is nothing but a a continuous probability distribution with probability density function i'll write the definition for this a continuous probability distribution probability distribution with probability density function f of chi square is k into e to the power minus x square by 2 chi square n by 2 minus 1 and where 0 less not equal to x chi square less than or equal to infinity and n is greater than 0 is a chi square distribution with n degrees of freedom degrees of freedom is nothing but number of independent observations number of independent observations we call it as degrees of freedom okay and this is nothing but a uh, when normal if, if we square the normal distribution we will get the chi square distribution and this is also one of the continuous probability distribution so it is called as probability density function we will see some features of a chi square distribution features of chi square distribution first one is n is the parameter of chi square distribution n is the parameter of chi square distribution second one the range of chi square distribution is so range is 0 comma infinity so we will write this in bracket range is 0 comma infinity and for a chi square distribution mean for a chi square distribution mean is equal to n variance is equal to 2n standard deviation is equal to square root of 2n and for chi square distribution mode is n minus 2 for n is greater than or equal to 2 0 for n is greater than or equal to 2 sorry less than or equal to 2 and next for a chi square distribution beta 1 is equal to 0 for n is equal n is greater than 2 and beta 2 is equal to 3 and beta 2 is is greater than 3 beta 1 is greater than 0 for n is greater than 2 and beta 2 is greater than 3 next when n is equal to n tends to infinity when n tends to infinity chi square distribution tends to standard normal distribution when n tends to infinity n is go uh, if it is increasing then our chi square distribution goes to standard normal distribution these are some features of chi square distribution and in exam they will ask this beta values mean range sometimes this this features will ask for two marks 
so for to solving the problem these features are very very important let us solve some problems on this if if z1 z2 plus z3 and z4 z1 z2 z3 and z4 are independent independent standard normal variate standard normal variate what is the what is the distribution of z1 square plus z2 square z3 square plus z4 square uh, this problem you will get in the uh, final examination for two marks okay this is very very important uh, if z1 z2 z3 z4 are independent standard normal if we square the standard normal distribution and if we add this this distribution and this z1 z2 will change us to chi square distribution this is chi square distribution so normal variate what is the distribution of this so this z1 square z2 square z3 square plus z4 square goes to chi square distribution with n sorry 4 degrees of freedom because here 1 2 3 4 n is equal to 4 so it is chi square distribution with 4 degrees of freedom second one write write the mean comma variance and standard deviation of chi square distribution sorry chi square variate with 10 degrees of freedom we have to find mean variance and standard deviation and degrees of freedom is 10 10 degrees of freedom so given that given that n is equal to 10 we know that mean is equal to n so that it is 10 variance is equal to 2n so 2 into 10 is equal to 20 standard deviation is square root of 2n square root of 2 into 10 that is square root of 20 is 4.47 and you will get you may get this type of problem for two marks in your examination third one if variance of chi square variate is 14 what is its mean so what is its mean variance they have given so variance is equal to 14 there is nothing but our 2n okay variance is equal to 14 we know that variance is 2n we have to find the mean so mean is equal to n using this relation find the value of n so 2n is equal to 14 n is equal to 14 by 2 n is equal to 7 so mean is equal to 7 next one for a chi square variate with 15 degrees of freedom p of 0 less than or equal to chi square less than or equal to 13.34 is equal to 0 0.5 find median and mode here they have given the probability range that is from 0 chi square uh, less than or equal to 13.34 and that probability is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 is nothing but mean median mode are same that is uh, it will be in the center so that uh, here median we will write the value of median this one that is 13.34 
since the probability is 0 0.5 this will be the middle one that is median is the middle most value and mod is equal to n minus 2 because this is 15 minus 2 this is equal to 13 see here n is equal to 15 n is equal to 15 we know that if n is equal to n is greater than 2 in features you know that n, if n is greater than 2 the mode value is n minus 2 so mode is n minus 2 that is 15 minus 2 is equal to 13 in examination you will get this type of problem for 2 marks on this chi square distribution And next topic is on the same distribution the next topic is next one more continuous probability distribution that is student t students t distribution first we will see the definition of this a continuous a continuous probability distribution continuous probability distribution with with probability density function density function f of t is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus t square by n to the power n plus 1 by 2 minus infinity less than t less than infinity is a t distribution with n degrees of freedom n degrees of freedom see this is a pdf of a student distribution with range minus infinity to plus infinity and here n degrees of freedom degrees of freedom is nothing but number of independent observations we will see some features features of t distribution or student t distribution so the parameter of t distribution is n parameter is n next the range of the t distribution range of distribution is minus infinity less than t less than infinity and next is t distribution is symmetrical is symmetrical about t is equal to 0 or beta 1 is equal to 0 and fourth one t curve is bell shaped t curve is bell shaped t curve is bell shaped for t distribution again mean is equal to median is equal to mode is equal to 0 sixth one and uh, variance of the distribution is n by n minus 2 for n is greater than 2 and it is greater than 1 next point for t distribution beta 1 is equal to 0 and beta 2 is greater than 3 Last is when n tends to infinity, t variate, t variate tends to follow standard normal distribution. When n s goes on increasing, it is going to infinity, then t is equal t variate is goes to or tends to standard normal distribution. We will see some problems, few problems on this topic that is on T distribution. In exam, they will ask this problem for 1 marks or 2 marks. If the parameter of T distribution is 5, find the mean 
and variance. Find the mean and variance. What they have given the parameter. So, n is equal to 5, n is the parameter. We know that in t distribution, mean value, mean is equal to 0 because t is symmetric and variance is equal to n by n minus 2. This is 5 divided by 5 minus 2. This is 1.67. Okay. Variance, the formula to find the variance is n by n minus 2. This 5 by 5 minus 2 is 1.67. Next one. If the parameter of T distribution is 8, find median and standard deviation. Parameter is 8, that is n is equal to 8. We know that in T distribution, mean, median, mode are equal to 0. So, median is equal to 0. And to find standard deviation, it is square root of n by n minus 2. This is square root of 8 by 8 minus 2. This is square root of 8 by 6. And this is 1.155. In exam, you will get student T distribution. 1 mark or 2 marks problem or a question uh, depending on the problems or uh, features of uh, distributions and the same thing will happen for chi-square distribution also. Thank you.